What's up everyone? Today we are changing the grill on the cube. It's got the stock one at the moment, but I painted it black and it's kind of faded and it looks like crap. So uh, I got a new one and we'll look at it now. So here is a better look at the current grill on the car. As you can see, the paint's all chipped off and it doesn't look very good. So we do have the new version over on the left, which we can look at now. And it is much cleaner. First thing we're going to do is pop the bonnet. Put that bad boy up one second. Okay, so usually we would have two clips on either side. There's these spring clips in here. And then down here, there's also supposed to be a clip there and then a clip on the inside. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm missing like all of those clips but we'll go ahead and take those out and then we'll put the new one in. So first we have this little clip on the top which you can pop off with a flathead screwdriver. And then this little one is tricky. You can access it from the top, but it's quite difficult. So it's easier to just get in from behind and pry it out. There are four clips on the underside of the grill. The best way to get to these is by gently pulling the top of the grill towards you, then sticking your hand down. You should then feel the clip and you can push the tab up to release it. You'll have to do this for all four clips and once you've got all of those clips, you can pull the grill off. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two grills. Here's a better look at the four tabs underneath. So in the center is where you want to push and that'll release it. In the top corners, there's those other two clips that we released before. We want to take these out and add them to the new grill so that we can reinstall it. So for this, we want to use pliers. It's the easiest way to do it in my opinion. What you want to do is grab onto the square section and twist it. And then you can grab onto the clip and pull it out. Here's a little better look at how it works. So you can twist that little section on the end and that's what locks it in. Next step is to grab the clip and the new grill. We basically want to do the reverse of what we did earlier. So we want to push the square part of the clip into the new grill and twist to lock it in. Then we can go ahead and repeat it on the other side. To install the new one, we can go ahead and line everything up. Once you've got the clips lined up, you can push in firmly. Make sure that it's seated properly and we're all good to go. Make sure to go back and add those top clips. Otherwise, you might want to use zip ties like I am to secure everything. Now that that's all done, we can go ahead and look a little before and after.